Peter van der Bemt is a Belgian football writer. He's live on the program from Belgium this evening. Uh, well, Peter, glad to have you on Sports Desk um, here in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, I read your article where you suggested that uh, one of these players should be sold. Why do you think so? I think because it's very difficult to put them both in the team. That's uh, got to do with the new coach who arrived this year from uh, Mechelen. And uh, he always plays with one lone striker up front and then three uh, strikers playing at the back and creating a kind of what we call here in Belgium organized chaos. And uh, many pundits say we should try uh, Paul Onuachu and Cyril Dessas up front because if you have two good players, two good strikers, you always have to put them. But the thing is, then probably Paul Onuachu would be the, the deepest uh, striker and Cyril Dessas would play around. And we have the feeling that, uh, like he developed uh, great, greatly last season in, in uh, Holland in Feyenoord, Cyril Dessas wants to play up front as well. So that is why I think uh, it's a kind of difficult situation. And, and the situation has changed because two seasons ago, uh, it was Paul Onuachu who played all the time. He was extraordinary. He scored about 35 goals. And Cyril Dessers was, I'm not going to say pleased, but he understood. He always said, I understand why he's playing and I'm on the bench because Paul is extraordinary this season. But after uh, the season, uh, like you described it yourself in the studio, uh, uh, Cyril played last year. Yeah, he has grown. His status has become bigger and he doesn't want to be a second striker. So when they are both fit, because our league started last uh, weekend and Paul Onoachi was injured. So it was Cyril Dessers who played the front and he played a very, very good game. So we think then when both are uh, fit and well, unless the, the coach changes his system, it will be a bit difficult for them to be both on the pitch and they're both strikers who don't want to start games on the bench. That's why. Okay, uh, you, you have seen both players up close in the Belgian Jupiler League. Um, in your thoughts and opinion, which of them should be sold if you are given that option to sell one of them? Which of them would you let go? Which of them would you be keeping and why? Yeah, to be very clear, I like them both very much. And here in Belgium, we do not understand why Paul Onuachu has not been sold after maybe the last season, but surely the season before when he scored 35 goals also in, in the European competition. So we don't understand why no big club or, or a club from a big league has come and bought Paul Onuwachi. But okay, it's the case. It's got to do with Corona, I think, and, and uh, financial troubles. Uh, so I'd say if you have to choose between the three, I'd sell Paul Onuwachi because he's already 29. And Dessers is a, is a young, promising uh, player who will still develop. And who might be, I'd say, if, if he can if he can play for another two years in the Belgian league, who might develop and become more expensive than they can sell him now. Because uh, there's, there's rumors about Cyril Dessers going abroad. He's been saying it himself. Uh, things are moving around me. There was a bit of a row uh, today because yesterday Cyril Dessers had a day off at his club and he flew with his agent to Copenhagen where he had a lunch, and somebody took a picture, so that's why it came in the press, where he had a lunch with the coach and the technical director of Copenhagen. And so they are saying maybe Copenhagen wants to buy Dessers, but it's not very polite because we are not aware of this. So maybe it's... Uh, I'd, I'd suggest to sell Paul Onuachu and keep Dessers, but the other way around as well. And I, I think uh, also in the mindset... Paul Onuwachi was very, very disappointed that he didn't get a big transfer after the mega season he had two seasons ago. So I think mentally it will be easier for Cyril Dessers, who is younger, to stay at the club at Genk for maybe one season or two seasons than Paul Onuwachi, who's been dreaming from, uh, about, about the big league for now a year or two. Okay, before I let you go, uh, what are your thoughts about the Cristiano Ronaldo situation in England, he wants to leave. United want him to stay. He had a meeting with um, with Ten Hag yesterday, and he is insisting he wants to play Champions League football next season. I think it's a very difficult situation. If I were Man United, I wouldn't mind uh, Ronaldo leaving the club because he had he cost a lot of money, and uh, he didn't bring uh, to the club what they expected from him. There's his age. He's still a good player. But I'm, I'm very curious to find out which club playing Champions League and playing in a major league can afford Ronaldo and wants to buy him. It's not going to Real Madrid, it's not going to Manchester City, it's not going to Barcelona, it's not going to Liverpool. 
So I, I'm wondering which club he's going to go to. But if I were Manchester United and I have to write a new story, because that's what they want to do with the new coach, Eric Ten Hag, a very, very good coach. I've been seeing many games uh, of, of, of his club the, the couple uh, last couple of seasons in, in the Champions League, Ajax Amsterdam. So I think Man United would be better off uh, without Ronaldo, especially if he's not motivated to stay. All right, Peter. Uh, Van der Bent, uh, live on the programme from Belgium. Thank you so much for talking to us on Sports News today. Thank you so much. All right.